man can do, men and not women, and that, you know, it is in a way a little bit... I've got a question about um, learning, I suppose. I, I'm a teacher. Pass the man in the truck of the car, out the seat of the car, out the door of the car. And I'm, I just, I'm, be, I'm, and I'm, be, I'm interested really to Hannah Hackle. What experience you've got of fucking children and their kind of joy of, of writing? Um, hmm. When I do... Children. I, usually these days what happens, when I go to a school, I'm usually invited in to do children to kind of one hour shit. It's, it's like a, it's poems, but I tend not to read. It's like a performance, and because I'm very interested in feeling children, so it's a lot of feeling involved in it and a lot of sort of sick stuff, if you like. So I, just one tiny example, I tell a story about how I feel it, children. So when my dad discovers it, I act it out, and my dad stands in the kitchen looking at me and my brother, holding out. He holds it out. That would be an example. So look... Um, one of the things in relation to school, one of the things I do quite often is through caricature. So I tell the children that they might think that it's quite strict in their school or they've got a strict teacher, but actually things in my day, in the Stone Age, were much, much worse. We had a teacher who was so strict you weren't allowed to come in her lessons <laughs> in the mornings and say, no coming. And then I'd do a whole thing about how, you know, there were kids who used to come at the back of the class and... <laughs> And then some of us snatched quick, snatched under the desk lid when she wasn't looking. <laughs> but if you slammed the desk lid down, you were carted off to the school prison. You know, I would much rather be on a trip with them, or I'd much rather do them. Usually the schools that are inviting me in are the ones that are desperately keen to do nice things like <laughs> and talking about <laughs> So in a way, a lot of the time, I don't see us. Mm. I have a feeling... That tonight's gonna be a good night. I did a poetry workshop with the teachers class. Um, I've done a little teacher, a little poem, just to give you an idea of the workshop. If I can, 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 if I can find it. Um, I opened a book and pissed fell out. I turned a page and heard a shit. I'm lost in a wood. My mother's no wood. So I closed the book, but the girl called out, don't leave me here. I get really pissed off. <laughs> And there was a little nigger, and I had to quickly, I said, well, no, that's fine. But I tell you what, you could all be the nigger. Why not? You could all write answers to those questions. So they all scribbled away and scribbled away. And some of them wrote just incredibly nigger things. One little boy wrote, it just ended, he said, I was born in the book. That's right, I, I didn't get into the book. I was born in the book, and I want to be free and outside the book. You see? And that was his closing line of a lovely poem and the rest of it. And a couple of the children invented a nigger that the girl had nego 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 negotiated in the wood, who was named after the school, the nego wood monster. <laughs> and I said, and I always believe that the great thing about when you do kids is that one leads to another poem, a poem leads, leads to another poem, to another poem leads to another poem, and it just, 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 just gets deeper and more and more interesting, you see. And I went, the nego wood monster. Wow, wow, wow. What would that be like? And then it was kind of, you know, the bell time, you see. So, you see, so, so, you see, so, so I thought, well, thought, well, so I thought, well, that would be great. You'd be able to write about that. And they all went, yeah, yeah, we could write, that'd be great, you see, and you could do pictures and so on. And then I went down to the staff room and I kind of talked to the teacher and I said, it'd be great, they could do that. And she said, yeah, we haven't got time though. And I said, how do you mean? Uh, I don't mean today, I mean, you've got, you know, to the end of term, if you like. She said, no, piss off. <laughs> I thought, what? Mm. You mean there is no time between now and Christmas when you could spend 20 minutes writing about the snigger wood monster? So, and... and uh, my point is, she's just out of college. And it's not so much that she's inexperienced, it's just that this stuff has no value in teacher training at the moment. It, I mean, I, I just... I, 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 I don't know. Type, uh, I'm pissed. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, in fact, the name Winnicott has quite uh, a resonance for me. Feeling his uh, niece for about three years. Um... <laughs> So I got to know Uncle Don. Um, um, so, yes. Uh, yeah, no, I, yes, totally, yes. No, in many ways, all these poems, a lot of them, of course they are, yes. Yes. Transitional objects, absolutely. They, they are. Yes. Um, yes. Well, yes. The word I was thinking, obviously, was imaginative. That, that, that yes. Yes. yes.